To start with, I'll open the library and create a deep copy of our symbol container using duplicate symbol recursive. What duplicate symbol recursive does is that it copies not only the symbol itself, but all the nested symbols inside it. So this one, this clone of our cat is actually a completely independent character. Now I will use this as a reference point. I've saved the little color effect here which I will apply to my clone and then I will use this as a starting point of a new palette for this character. As you remember we need to have a symbol selection to generate initially the palette so I'll select my original cat and press the generate palette button and then after that I will not need the library anymore. As you can see there's 47 colors in this palette. I've used quite many colors when designing the character. Anyway, I'll duplicate the palette, call it night, and then I will select this other version of the character and apply the color effect. So I'll load the color effect from the selected symbol on the stage and apply it to the colors in the nighttime palette. Now I can remove the color effect from it and then the next thing I want to do is I would like to isolate the eyes in a separate group. So I'll create a group. Let's call it group 2 and I need to identify the colors within the eyes and I would like to isolate them from the transformation. So I'll zoom in and use the color picker to identify all the colors used in the eyes. So what I did, because I knew that I wanted to isolate the eye whites and the clothes, I made sure that these are two separate colors. So this one is just the pure white and this is just slightly different. So I'll color pick this one here just to identify which one it is in the palette and it's this color so I'll just drag it to separate it in the separate group and I'll continue doing this um, with this black color which is not black it's this color here I'll drag it to the separate group and I'm quite sure that uh, these two are the yellow colors. I can either search with the magnifying glass tool, yes it says it's the iris, or I can color pick, but yeah this one says iris as well. So I'll just move it here and I'll delete the empty swatch. So now when the colors of the eyes are separated from the other colors, I can exclude this group from the color swapping and I can go swap to night and I'll just press swap and there we go. We excluded the eyes and we got this result. Now if I'd like to I can work separately on the eyes and I can work separately on individual elements. But this was just a demonstration how very quickly we can identify a bunch of colors and then exclude them from the transformation.